Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of a Let's Play Surviving Mars! The dust storm from last time just ended, and a mirage just started. Which is why I'm talking fast for the intro there, because I'm sure it's gonna prompt us about the some other vision. Searing hot. You find refuge in the blessedly cool corridors of the home tree. The doors behind you shut just as the shuttle takes off. No time to catch your breath as the gathering is about to begin. Hundreds of people have come to the Red Valley Home Tree to answer your call. The conspiracy you've been gathering in, your pa in the past year or so has grown to numbers which require the establishment of organization or at least a unified plan for the future. This is why you have ventured to the other side of the globe to contact local anti-authority dissidents. The things you have seen lifted the veil created by the mis- the things you have seen lifted the veil created by the misinformation and propaganda you had all been fed. You have seen cities overrun by disease and starvation, where angry mobs riot every day in a desperate attempt to avoid the inevitable. You have seen the barren landscapes of the planet dotted by the ruins of cities and, and factories, where nothing lives and grows. The world is dying, and you know this is all and you know this with all of your heart and mind. The waters of the deep ground reservoir are long gone. Replaced now with the leaders of various resistance cells. Hmm. They all await you to start the meeting, and you don't keep them in suspense. The horrible truth devours your heart, and you have to share the burden with them, listen to their words and, and advice, and set the course for the future. You know the gathering wouldn't be easy, as the tensions had grown strong within the ranks of the resistance. Clansmen straying from the city dwellers, and vice versa. Bad blood is running between the two groups, each viewing the other as something far too different to tolerate. You're attributing much of this behavior to the recent effects of the cure taken by your clansmen, which turned their world upside down. You hope they, would, they realize the vital role of the city dissidents, mostly scientists and thinkers, who bear the skills and knowledge of which your people had been deprived on purpose. You don't have any intention to delay the meeting. You stand before the crowd and start to raise your voice. The murmur in the reservoir stops, and everybody listens. You talk for what seems an eternity. Hoping beyond hope that your words are enough to reach the hearts of your audience. You describe the pictures of the dying world and make sure they understand that the clock is ticking for all of you. You cannot wait for better times, but the raw military might of the authority makes any attempt for direct confrontation a lost cause. After all, your people are farmers, not soldiers. One by one, the cell leaders speak their minds. The discussion is heated and continues until late in the night. You dismiss the gathering with the promise to continue tomorrow. Later, you're lying in bed and sleep, and the sleep is chased away by your heavy thoughts. You realize that your word weighs a lot, and whichever solution you support, it would probably be the course for the future. Some of the clansmen proposed that all must hide deep in the desert and live off the land the way you did before, but this would mean condemning millions of people in the city to a starving death. The scientists who perfected the cure uphold the plan to introduce gene-altering chemicals into the food ration sent into the city. This will instill the truth directly into the minds of the people and cause them to rise. You insist on taking the most brave and noble path to send agents to spread the word to the people of the city. This would be dangerous and even fatal should the authority agents get their hands on you. Okay, I really, I can't wait for people to have like ripped the like game files apart and like be able to analyze exactly what these different choices do. I'm happy to be doing this spoiler free now, but like, oh my god. I kind of like the idea of like spreading the truth directly through chemical altered food. I mean, I could see how this backfires in a million different ways, but I'm going to do with go with it. I mean, I like science. Either us or them, spread the you cure. Watched the first of those infected shipments leave the city, praying that all of this was for the best. The experts were sure that the information you were instilling into the brains of the people would help all of you live together in harmony. The next generations could judge you harshly for the morality of your actions, or they could praise you for your bravery. You don't care. The only thing that mattered for you was to lead the disgruntled population of Bedlam to the realization that hard times await all of you, and that none of you could trust the selfish leaders who led you to your doom on purpose. Effect. Some dreamers become gurus. Okay. I mean, maybe none of your choices have a huge impact research on the overall complete. progression of the story. No Just immediate boost. Do I really have no research going on? Wow. Okay. Now, I might still want to go and, like, do some of these cheap upgrades. I mean, A, for more money. Uh, and B, like, you know, as, as eventually we might run out of ground sources for water, so we'll have to run vaporators more often. Some more efficiency there would be good. We could poke around and see what the different crops are. They're really cheap. We'll burn through it real fast. Um... There's lots of good options. Infirmary Medical Center Upgrade provides surface comfort service comfort, and improves relaxation. I kind of like that. Decreased number of workers at farms. Increased birth rate in a dome. Okay, I'm going to control click this one to put it atop the queue. Expensive? Yes, but that's okay. 
Harm age and death from old age happen later. See, these are all really good. Moisture farming. Oh, there's finally with the ability to unlock moisture evaporators instead of shipping them from Earth. Wow. Uh, and we have a vision going on right now. And the dust storm has ended, so in theory... There we go, two colonists. People should start to move over here now. And we should get more resources dropped off so that we can actually build these buildings. Because our shuttles should be running again. Although it would help if I unpaused. <clears throat> this is fine. Uh, we have massive power shortages. Okay. Because we don't have drone coverage because of the breakdown. Now, I'm going to move my... Not my RC Explorer. Hang on. The drone thing. Because the RC Explorer, we actually have anomalies somewhere, don't we? Yes, we do. You're going to go there. But yes, RC Rover is going to go over there just in case. Now, most likely... The actual drones are still running, and we'll be able to repair things, yeah, as soon as we got resources. So yeah, massive amounts of maintenance need to go on over here. That's because we didn't have the resources here, and that was killing our power, but one by one they're getting fixed as deliveries are working again, so I think we're going to be okay. But yeah, there's something to be said about using the transport to make sure that there's always some extra machine parts up here. Still, it doesn't seem to usually be a problem, so I think we're going to be okay. Um, we have like added a lot more stuff. I think we are going to need more power. I'm wondering about not always doing it in the same area. In particular, what I think I'm going to do is I think I actually am going to build a drone hub over here. Uh, which means that I will need to take this RC rover and actually move it here. And that's where I'm going to build some more power generation. I will want to do the fusion thing at some point. Because, again, the advantage to it is um, it's one building that generates a lot of power, so the maintenance is a lot more manageable. Or we can take the... Um, the wonder building as well which might be good there's a wonder building that can generate tons of power it's like a is it i think it's a fusion generator as opposed to a fission generator it's something like that but we haven't unlocked it yet uh we are going to make this top priority and we've got plenty of resources like building this should be fine although we're printing through the electronics fast that i think had a lot to do with um building the new dome I had shipped a lot of electronics, and they were being used. Hopefully, we're getting more and more employees that will work in the, the electronics thing. Especially as we get people actually educated in the jobs. Like, we really delayed the university, which hurts our production a lot. So now we'll actually be educating people into uh, their field, so they should work a lot more efficiently, which will be good. Once these all get built, I'll put up a bunch of polymer jobs. Actually, I'm going to put up a few, like, right away, so that the resources should start to get delivered here. Okay, we've already fixed our power. We should be overkilling the power. It's funny, the colors, with everything being green here, with the Mirage. Okay, how's this dome going? There we go. Look at this. 30 colonists. Okay, I want to compare here. This is comfort rating of 70. Oh, this is also 70. So, I'll probably just build this one, because it's a little lower maintenance. So, let me go and salvage this. And we will salvage this one as well. Temporarily, we'll build some homeless people. That's okay. You need to get blown up and blown up and then ch -ch -ch smart complex bam and bam there you go good proper housing open air gym you got that that we've got no manual upgrades to do we've actually got some extra space here we'll be taking a look at um so what kind of comfort people don't have a little bit of shopping concern. We've actually got lots of... Well, do we have lots? You can shop here. You can shop at the grocer. So I think mostly they'll they'll get um, dealt with. Uh, RC Explorer. Do we have another anomaly? Not that I can see. So why don't you just come over here, recharge yourself, and chill. This fuel thing is always full. We actually have a dedicated fuel storage there. We, we just have like way more fuel than we need, which is okay. Rare metals is accruing. I may want to start shipping more of it off-world here. Again, one of the ideas with our rockets is to continue to fund our outsourcing as much as possible. So, tell you what, um, that other rocket, I'm going to go and get it to ship with a bunch of electronics. It's not full or anything, but then once it lands, we'll, we'll have it start um, the, um, the shipping of the rare metals again. So, yeah, I think during the day we tend to go down. Oh, my God. We do have the extra guru, so there's probably a lot more guru, guru. There's a lot more spreading of various traits and things like that. Yep, melancholic? Oh, that's kind of miserable. So, you are growing that. 
Well, we'll do we'll do the soybean thing for now. Bot's just chilling out there, which is fine. There you go. If I click on it, at least we can still see. It is nice to see this, just to be different, but man, it makes it hard to see inside. So we're, some places are looking for some people. That's fine. Um, medics are uh, are better in here. So these guys aren't working super good, unfortunately. But I mean, it's still ending up at a 73 work performance. I think it's going to be okay. Uh, this is the Martian University. Um, I think we're actually going to be quite keen with opening up the extra shift here. Just really try to push people through as much as possible. Yeah, some colonists moved out here because we didn't have enough housing for them, but they should start to move back in soon. Now, we might build more of these houses. This is not a huge number of things. We'll have to keep a close eye on how many workers we need. So, 17 work slots empty. We've got room for another 12 people in here, so there would still be work slots. Um, although, if I cancel the university... Shift with that knot. Hmm. That still doesn't really work out. I think we will need a little bit more housing. And we've got a little bit of empty stuff, so clearly we're going to expand a little bit more here. So, yeah, let's, um, let's assume we're going to need another smart complex at least. And, yeah, I will go ahead over here at the university. And we will run the two shifts here. And I'm okay with that. So electronics are low. We are going to deliver some. Yeah, we're, we used electronics to build these smart homes, and I think they might need it for maintenance as well. So yeah, we're being hammered a lot more on the electronics. Now, the two places we're building electronics, here we were running two shifts, and it's not full yet. And, no, not there, but here. And we're only running one shift, and we're barely doing that. Now, I could change the priorities here, but mostly we just need more people around. Uh, you don't actually have any vacant residential slots. And you don't have anyone working there. You just need a lot more housing here. Research complete. So, I will just build apartments. They're really not comfortable. But we need a lot more people. It's because we have the double school and everything. And some people living there. Okay, the Quill Rocket here has got some electronics. I will... We've already got the kind of graphic glitch. So I'm going to do that. And I will set the automatic trade on that. Holographic scanning is done. That's not enough to... Is it this? No, advanced drone drives. That's blinking, but it's not that. Which one's holographic? Oh, right over here. Medical center upgrade. Increased birth rate in a dome. Uh, I probably have to activate that, like a lot of the other upgrades. Right here. Boom. Much birth rate. Comfort level should be very high. In fact, it is 75 comfort. Average morale is only 66. I don't know if there's anything I can do for that. Healthy, one with the universe, living... Yeah, I mean, your morale is actually okay. There might be other things I can do, but so far, so good. Vacant work slots. Yeah, so we'll need the extra housing for sure. Keep getting people in here. Research complete. It'd be nice to get, like, baby-making stats in here, too. That would be kind of awesome. Hydroscopic vaporators. That was the upgrade to the vaporators. Good. Um, that's the atom That's the giant battery. Nuclear fusion. And there are breakthroughs for that that don't require anyone to work there, which is nice. Still. That's a lot of polymers. I like that it's a wonder. Are all these wonder? Well, not that one. Wonder, wonder. That's just a regular dome. That's just a building. But these are all wonders over here. Why does it say wonder and this says new wonder? That's interesting. I think that's the only one that says that. It must just be a text description difference. Geoscape Dome would be really fun. Has high comfort, increases sanity of inhabitants, every soul. I mean, that would be a nice baby-making one. But I mean, you know what? The baby-making one's comfortable enough as is. The Martian Network's also a really cool way to get a lot of extra tech. Fusion reactor upgrade reduces the amount of workers. Yeah, I kind of dig this. Fusion reactor, then fewer workers for it. I think there's an option to make it just free of workers completely. But there we go. I mean, power's good now, but I'll feel really good with the fusion reactor. You can, we can't get, like, birth rate stats or anything. I don't think so. We can take a look, though. So, yeah, there's no specialized people in this dome. There is one sexy person in here. 
And there's 13 Dreamers. Excellent. And everyone here is Martian-born as well. Although, again, I don't think that matters for the Dreamer thing. All clones are born Dreamers. Becoming Dreamers hereditary. Yeah. So anyway, we don't have to like specify clones go here. We're making lots of clones, which makes lots of Dreamers. The Dreamers are encouraged to come here, at which point they will make more Dreamer babies who aren't clones. And we could probably move away from the cloning centers at that point. But having more Dreamers is part of our goal with our log here. So yeah, just, you know, having more of them one way or another. I have no idea what this is, but it really entertains me. Watch this be like a horrible disaster that's going to destroy this dome later on. I don't think it's been growing or anything, but all kinds of nonsense could happen. Let me take a look over here. Yeah, occasional shopping glitch, but that's all. Everything else really good. I mean, the health, we've got the health center over here and everything. Increased birth rate, so babies should be should be coming in fast. Research complete. Utility crops are done. Excellent. That was uh, right here. We'll take a look at that in a second. I think there's some more crops. Yeah, even more crops over here. Farm automation I like. I'll go ahead and queue that up. That's going to be all right. We can take a look. I think right now the crop will just be something that boosts the fertility really fast. Yeah, cover crops over here. 40% boost. Doesn't make much food, but that's okay. There, we'll use that to... That should actually bring us up to 100. Because 10% here and 40% here. And we can cycle some potatoes in and out at that point. Yeah, and it's nice to make our own food. Well, we've got a full workload over here. That's nice. Okay, this rocket here has been emptied good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to automate this now to help us make more consistent money. Sorry, I know we're staring at nothing. Something was just like, my computer hard drive is going crazy and I don't know why. It always bothers me. Yeah, it's just surviving Mars. Surviving Mars is big on like, streaming things as you play. I think that's one of the reasons the load times are actually fairly small. Mm -hmm. But I always worry when I'm recording my hard drive starts spinning. I'm like, ah, is something breaking? No, no, no. Okay, not in this case. We're okay. Funding received. Yay! Still gotta wait for about two grand over there. But yeah, uh, going back to the two rockets is gonna help our money. I was a little worried because the rare metals were dropping, dropping, dropping. And they'll probably still happen again. Um, oh, especially if this rare metals extractor is done. Are we mining this one? No. Nor are we mining this one. So let's go ahead and do you and you power out here and there. A couple of dumping sites right nearby. And yeah, we won't need people working there. I might put a... I don't know if we'll strictly need it, but I'll put a little rare metal storage between the two. Might be a little easier on our drones. And yeah, since they are, they are built, I'm going to try to fire everyone from this so that no one works here. Just keep the process automated. Get our people working somewhere else. And yeah, and at some point, I will probably move the cloning vats away. What I could do is just focus a little bit more on having more medical centers. But I don't know. I'm going to be tempted to, I don't know, maybe the, the network stations, the network hubs. That might be nice. The X here is because it's currently not a work shift. Just letting me know that this building is not currently operational, which is fine. Got some drone prefab sitting there. I could queue up some more, but we don't have infinite electronics, so. No, seriously, okay, pause. I wanna fire you, there we go. All right, unpause. I'll just hold off on the upgrade so I can control click it here. Just let these drones focus on getting this finished first. So yeah, building performance isn't huge. But it's, it's about as good as just non-specialized people. And again, we're short on people overall, which is why I'm focusing on having it be automated. So I'm going to control click, control click, get you all upgraded to the next level. Keep that coming in. Good. And yeah, I don't need people, so I can build them out of range. Oh, that's very high grade and a good number of them. Let's go, rather than build a big tunnel, we'll go and, and stretch you out here. Oh, you can go through there. I wasn't sure that you'd be able to. Let's do that. And... Rare metals. Drone hub. Uh, is there another mine over there? Oh, you're actually in range of whatever. I will drop you here. We will put down a universal storage depot. 
I'll put down one rare metals one and a dumping site. And then I'm going to take the RC Rover, move it over here so that we can build all this stuff. Farm automation is done. So we need fewer workers is the idea. Now, I don't know if that's an upgrade I have to do or if it's automatic. Oh, looks like it is an upgrade I have to do. It's going to take a lot of electronics, especially since we have got multiple of these. But I think it's going to be a big win to reduce our dependence on workers in all these farms. I think it's going to bring it from six to four. Let's watch. Under construction. Come on, bots. You can do it. Are the bots busy? Oh, they might be waiting for polymers to be de um, deposited, which is probably what's happening here. There we go. Come on, bots. It's probably one. Probably needs to deliver another. I think the bots only ever carry one thing at a time. Might still be waiting for another polymer delivery, though. Like, we have lots of it, right? Yeah, 200 is, is plenty. Although, if we want to build one of the mega things, there we go. I just saw the delivery. Oh, come on! Seriously? Now I am confused. wonder if I should get a local fuel production thing over here. I don't know. One thing I can do is box up some of these drones. We're going to bring this back down to, I don't know, just eight. It's really not going to leave a lot of drones here, just enough to maintain things. It's a it's a dome, so I want plenty of dome drones around to like kick in when emergencies happen. I'm actually confused as to why there's not more food sitting here and things. We are getting some deliveries, but do you really move it from here to the universal? I think they try to balance the load, is what's happening. There we go. That's a bunch of polymers. And you're even you're loading some into the art workshop. That might be one of the things that's slowing it down, but because the art workshop wants to have a certain amount of storage, as you can see, because that's what it sells. Seriously, though, how come you haven't been built? Okay, another polymer has been picked up, but I think it's just being brought here. All right, let's not stress about it. We'll come back to it. Who are you? Droner, dreamer, clone, enthusiast, march and born, religious saint. Saint's quite good. It uh, increases the morale of all religious people in Dome. And the benefits stack with each additional saint. That's one of the reasons the uh, religious start is actually relatively... It's not considered one of the hardest. Like, it has a lot of disadvantages. But having all your population be religious is insanely good. Very, very, very strong. It's like water shortage is interesting. I don't know how we're ending up with that. And this hasn't finished yet. That's fine. Now, you over here, you got built. Um, you have some upgrades you can do, though. So, control-click, control-click. So, apparently upgrades happen quite slowly, but we'll see. I wonder, like, how, how stressed are these things? And we got some idle ones here. Now, sometimes they're idle when they're technically just refueling. It's part of the process, but... I don't know! Resources are low. low on electronics. Okay, we are very low on electronics. I'm not going to deny that. We need something to make our electronics factories more efficient. We've already got all of that. Um, I might want to go... I'm going to prioritize my electronics workshops. I control-clicked here, so I'm making all of them higher priority. So the other one's actually going to have two full work shifts full. This one's only going to have the one. We still need more people, but yeah, we need electronics to be baked a lot freaking faster. A lot freaking faster. Some things aren't working. Are you waiting for electronics? No, other things. Feels like our deliveries aren't really happening, and I'm really confused. You're all idle. Well, these drones might simply be overworked over here. No, it's low. Do you not have storage? Well, no, you must. Why are you not being maintained? I feel like there's something going on. This just needs concrete. You tell me there's no concrete over here? Look at this concrete depot. And some of you are idle. Oh, you're not working because you don't have people. Oh, I'm an idiot. I just assumed it was broken. I wasn't actually looking at the symbol. You don't have people. You don't need maintenance. Because all the people are working here. Which they kind of need to be. So we're going to have to eat a loss of other productivity here for a little while. Make babies faster! 46 of 48. Now, one thing I don't know is if they'll only make babies if there's space or if the babies will spawn and be, like, um, un uh, homeless. I really don't know. Part of me wonders if I should just build a nursery just in case. 
in, in, if anything's going well, this nursery should be empty most of the time because the people, the kids should move to the other dome. But we might need this for, like, overflow children. Oh, apparently there's another mirage going on. Really changed the color of things. Did you get upgraded? What is going on? How many other domes? Because they all have farms, right? Burns with the fires of the revolution. So Bedlam is, in theory, the, the capital. It's a weird name for it. Over the course of weeks, the peaceful protests had sparked into riots, and the inadequate attempts of the authority to suppress them had caused violent surges from the crowd. Citizens from all ranks of society stormed the barricades and burned down government buildings. You walk undisturbed among the chaos. The people you view you as a prophet of the end times. I got an achievement. Special. S-P-E-C-I-A-L. That sounds like a Fallout reference to me. Um... People view you as prophet of the end times. No one dares raise their hand against you. When the crowd sees you, it parts to let you through. Jeez. Everyone was waiting for the truth to flow from your mouth. You haven't asked for this. You only hope that when the authority in Bedlam is toppled, the people will listen to you once more and prepare to face more difficult times ahead. This is what fills your mind as you walk the dusty, debris-covered streets. You turn the corner to find a man bumping into you, flustered. He falls back into the dirt. His uniform catches your eye. He's one of the enforcers of the authority. He frantically crawls back and reaches for his gun. That's when the angry mob appears. All motion stops. The officer points with his gun at you, the crowd, even the wind. You reach out to him. Give me the gun, you say. Then you turn to the mob. What would the death of one man do to help you? Go back to your homes and families. There's a second of hesitation. One by one, the street empties. The officer breathes a sigh of relief. A sigh of relief. He throws the gun on the ground and looks you right in the eye for a minute. Then he gestures for you to follow him. For some reason, you know he's not a threat. You don't need telepathy to tell, it, tell you it either. Cal, right? The ex-watcher? No, you're going to get a kick out of this. You're the only one of those nut jobs knows how to use it. Come on. He leads you to a bunker. The guards are long gone, fled or taken by the crowd. The officer opens the blast door and motions towards the entrance. The authority installed this thing a while back. Doesn't... M doesn't meant a thing to me anymore. Bit of a typo. I got my life. That's all that counts. The device is unfathomably complex. Its true purpose, lurking behind a sinister aura. You give your old scientist buddies a ring and decide to give the old bones a rest while you wait. You aren't young anymore. Even in your mid-40s, your body wasn't genetically designed to live to old age. Nevertheless, you lived a full life. The sun sets on Bedlam. The palace of the Otark has been taken over and the rule of the authority is no more. You hope that the new day will bring new hope for survival and rebuilding of your tired, devastated world. This would be a monumental effort, but failure is not an option. All it takes is a helping hand, but you can save that for tomorrow. For now, you need to rest. Create more dreamers to strengthen the mirage. I'm working on it! I'm working on it! Alright, folks, we're going to put a cut in here. Thank you very much for watching another episode, and I will see you next time as we continue to try to wake the dreamer.